Hello, everybody, and welcome to the seventh wedlock on the channel. And this time, it is going to be of Pokemon Y. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, why? <laughs> you said you were never going to do these games. You hate them so much. And part of that's true. I don't hate any Pokemon game, but they're definitely my least favorite. And I did say I wasn't ever going to do them, but I've been itching to do one. And I've been itching to do one with a little twist. So, since I hate the games, I thought, why not invite somebody on to co-commentate this episode that loves the games and is very vocal about it, so we can share opinions about that. I just thought it'd be interesting. So let's have him introduce himself, because he is definitely not unfamiliar to all of you. How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, I am, uh, I'm looking forward to this, because, as you mentioned, I am indeed a fan of X and Y. I know it has its faults, but I think X and Y have the potential to be a wonderful game to do a Nuzlocke or Wedlock challenge on, just because a lot of the random trainers in the game can be really surprising. It's all up to what rules, though, you use in such a challenge, and, uh, You've oh, spoken yeah. about this. You're you're going with some interesting rules this time around, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely using some different rules. Now, the big difference of this playthrough compared to any wedlock I've done on the channel is I am not allowing any items from the bag during battle, except for held items, obviously, and any type of Pokeball. Now, I'll just speed through the Ooh. other rules really quick, because Maryland's obviously done a no-healing wedlock on X before, and he's done one <laughs> in his personal time as well, so I thought it'd be interesting to have him share his ideas on it all. So we'll skip through the intro here while I go through some of the rules. The basic stuff like Species Claws, uh, Gift Claws, Shiny Claws, a level limit, everything like that's found in the description. As you guys know, I allow genderless Pokemon in my wedlocks. So I like everybody to get a use. If I come across a genderless Pokemon, I flip a coin. Heads are male, tails are female. Um, previous Game Claws, obviously. I have a spreadsheet in the description. But be, be warned, it contains spoilers for everything I've ever used for a decent amount of time. The PSS and Pokemon and Me and Super Training aren't allowed. Um, as every as you guys know, I always fight everybody, and this is actually now a rule, but I can skip trainers in Victory Road, and Maryland definitely knows why. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the Forced Pidgey and Snorlax do not count. They may not be caught. They have to be defeated. Oh, I might be able to run away from the Pidgey. I don't know. If I can, I, I, I might. I don't have any idea. And the experience share must be turned off at all times, unless it's a dedicating training session. Now, there's another rule for Mega Evolution. I'll get that into that in a minute. It's in the description. But one thing I really, really love about X and Y is trainer customization. <laughs> However, not gonna only on the women. And yeah, yeah, the guys, guys kind of get the short end of the stick when it comes to close selection. But because of my naming theme, which we'll get into later, I have to play as the guy because it's really <laughs> fitting. And I, don't, I never really thought about this. He's about Ooh, middle one. decisions. He's about yeah, the middle middle's one, good. I'd say. And the name. So this ties into the naming theme. I'm not going to explain it right now. I'll explain it when we they ask for our nickname, because there's a really good nickname for this. But our, we're <laughs> going to be playing as Jeff for this playthrough. Jeff! Yeah! Jeff is going to be either massacred or a champion. <laughs> we're about to find out. Like, this is going to be brutal. I can, I'll tell you that for sure. But like I said, the trainer customization is amazing, but... Only oh, yeah. on the girls. Like, the girls look so cool, but the guys get, like, nothing. That's one thing I really hated about it, but when I played through as a girl, it's really fun. Yeah, I, I, I played through as a girl just because I like the clothes selection so much better. It seems yeah. like the guy just has a lot more bland clothes and things that don't really go very well yeah. with anything else. It's I like the fedoras and all. Oh, but, yeah, the fedoras mm. are cool. It's definitely fitting, though, for, you know how guys normally are like you know i don't <laughs> i don't really dress up or wear anything i wear yeah. pretty plain clothes so i guess it makes sense but you know for oh, a video yeah. game they should have you know allowed more stuff than that but oh definitely and, and they did in sun and moon yeah. i actually like the guys selection of clothes better in sun and moon but yeah definitely uh, x and y just not so much so something interesting about this playthrough is i know maryland definitely makes his starter choices based on his id <laughs> Now, mm -hmm. I, we'll check our ID, but that's not how we're going to be doing it. I'll ha I, there's a special thing here for this ID. Well, for this starter choice, definitely text speed to fast. And I'll change oh, the yeah. battle background in the next episode. I don't really feel like messing with that right now. But our ID would have given us... Oh, my God, I'm so bad at math. I Ooh, or math. It's not math. Don't worry. That uh, would be the fire, fire starter. starter, I believe. So I guess that goes uh, yeah. into another interesting topic. 
Also, all of my IDs I ever get seem to start with 64. I don't know why that is. Huh. Like, that's I, weird. I and mean, that might just be weird memory, but I, I, I uploaded a video one time about every Pokemon I've ever used, and I guess I could go through that one day, but I, I just feel like they always start with 6 for some reason. But yeah. one thing I definitely um, like about the games, obviously, are the starter Pokemon, so I'd like to hear your favorite starter-type Pokemon, and we can go from there, and I can share my experiences with them. Wait, did I? Oh, I forgot to check in the mirror. This is what happens <laughs> when I'm distracted. This you, is, know, you know what? I, I have a hard time getting out of bed in the morning, too. I yeah. walk outside. It's like, oh, wait, I should probably change out of my pajamas, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. We look a little bit better. I don't really like the guy a character little bit. in this game. But Serena's kind of cool. Serena's it's all right. Cool. So, um, with the starter Pokemon, I have a very big bias towards loving Froakie, but I hate Greninja <laughs> because everybody seems to like Greninja really? so much. But Froakie's huh. adorable. But out of all of the starter Pokemon, I've used two of them in a lock of some sort. And there's only one of them I haven't used, and I really want to use one, but it might not <laughs> get to happen. And don't let me sway it at all, obviously. No, but. I've... I'm already completely sold on my decision of what your fate will be, so oh boy, don't worry. But decided. we'll save that for uh, <laughs> yeah. we'll save that for when you get that selection, just in case. Definitely, it's coming up too. I'm pretty excited for it. There's our Rhyhorn. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and pass that. So, is there anything in particular that you feel like sharing about X and Y, about hating or enjoying? <sighs> route one. Yeah, <laughs> There's route the one. shortest route well, in the there world. There it goes. <laughs> if you hate it, it's gone. I, yeah. Okay, there are things I do dislike about X and Y. Don't worry, there's there's plenty. I mean, I do love the games from a challenge perspective. I think that the selection of Pokemon is just amazing. But there are definitely things that I don't like about the game. For instance, too many friends, okay? Yes. We should have had just, like, <laughs> two or three friends. That's fine. We could get yeah. rid of Trevor. I don't think... I think we'd all be fine without yeah, him. I don't need Sorry, Trevor. Sorry, Trevor. But... And Tierno's just there. Shauna's he's, cool. He's especially. just kind of there. Shauna! Shauna! Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I was waiting for it. Uh, Don't worry. You knew it would happen. Oh, yeah. Just... Oh, boy, little uh, Jay. It's like my real name. That's people <laughs> try to give me nicknames. Mm hmm. All right. So we have to give ourselves a nickname. It's definitely not going to be Big Jay. Now, this is interesting. <laughs> I always hated this. I thought this was kind of dumb. Uh, yeah. Because they always call you the nickname, it seems like. It's like your real character name didn't even matter. But. This does actually matter in some sense, so I guess we can get into our naming theme really quick, because there's a lot of explanation at the beginning. So, I have a very interesting naming theme. As many of you know, I'm a huge fan of the TV show Survivor, and the host of the show is Jeff Probst. And everybody calls him Probst, almost nobody calls him Jeff, like sometimes. But we're going to be playing as Jeff Probst, because it only seemed fitting. Because we're... And it also is really fitting because, you know, this is going to be a really hard challenge, and we're going to see if we can be the sole Survivor. <laughs> so. See if you'll survive it, or yeah. if you'll get voted off the island. Oh man, voted off the... I, I guess Kalos is an island. Is Kalos an island? I don't even know um, the region. It depends on your definition of an island. I yeah. mean, I guess it's probably part of a continent, but it can be an island in your mind. This is true. So, let me tell you the starter that I wanted, and then yeah, okay. let's see what you you got. So, obviously, I used a Froki in the first um, wedlock I did of X and Y, and my Greninja died in Victory Road. Very sad times. Aww. I did my second ever Nuzlocke of... My second ever Nuzlocke ever. Started with a Fennekin named Whoppers, who <laughs> died to Clement. And I've never, oh, no. ever used Chespin. So, oh. that's, that's where I'm standing with it. So, Maryland, if you guys can't tell, is going to choose our starter, our fate. Oh, yeah. He's already decided. What I is our starter? I have already decided. So, you do not even need to move your finger. You're going through a oh, Fennekin boy. again, okay? All right. You gotta carry a Fennekin through this game. Let's you gotta get it. past Clamont one. It's gotta happen. All right. You gotta get some revenge. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely be And that be actually planning. has nothing to do with it being four as the trainer ID number. I actually had that settled from even before then, and it just happens that it works out that way. Oh, huh? yeah, that's really fitting. I'm happy with Fennekin. As long as it's not Froki again, I'm fine. <laughs> so, here's Fennekin. I was pretty certain you wouldn't choose Froki since you did nah. get to use Froki. So. I did, and my Froki actually worked out fairly well. Good, some good stories there. Oh, yeah. So hopefully this Fennekin will be amazing, or hopefully... Hopefully. hopefully hope, oh, another thing I should mention is the only female starters I've ever had on the channel were grass. So oh, will wow. this Fennekin break that trend? <laughs> because we you need know, to give the Fennekin a nickname, and it's me. I don't think I've had a single female starter in any recording I've done. Go figure. So oh, wow. I was looking through your uh, your names. So Marilyn has decided on a nickname for our Fennekin starter. It is a Survivor Tribe from Season 4 
Um, also, I'm never going to spoil any season, so nobody worry about that, just so you know. But um, this was Marquesas. I have no idea how to pronounce some of these, but the name that he decided on Svenikin is... So Leon too. At so, least I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, we're, I'm probably going to butcher a lot of these names, especially if they're before season 15, because I haven't seen any of those seasons. <laughs> but we have So Leon to the Fennekin. And something interesting I just want to explain really quick about Survivor Tribes is there all the Survivor Tribes are already pre-named, like the producers name them based on um, cultures and stuff. But h- halfway through the game, um, the the tribe mates will all merge into one tribe, and then the remaining castaways name the tribe. And so there's some really cool different things. There's also a tribe that's actually named Merica, which I thought Maryland would find <laughs> hilarious. And I just thought that was something I should point out there. So America, Yeah, America. Everybody that's seen him knows all about America. So Jeff gets his uh, Pokedex. Yep. Um, there's one more thing I was going to point out. I don't remember. I guess it's not that big of a deal then. All right, nah. so let's go ahead and check our Defenican, and then we got to fight against Shauna. I was waiting for it. There we go. All right, <laughs> I, I, that wasn't happen. planned at all. All right, we get the professor's letter. I don't even remember what that's for. Oh yeah, our mom. Never mind. Oh yeah, gotta give you know, your mom rambling. letter from the professor. Yeah, let's see what that's all about. Oh yeah, it's like, hey, you know, I really want this kid to visit me in this town a few bits away. Could you? Uh, let him visit me because I gave him a Pokemon. Right? Yeah. It's kind of weird. I don't fully understand it myself either. But should oh, well. we check out the starter or hope it's a shiny? Ah, uh, let's hope. <laughs> Let Let's just see what it is in battle. That'd be amazing. That I'll would tell be you right now. pretty crazy. I, I doubt there be it. So much but... screaming. Yeah. Oh my God. Pro, just wait. All right. What's up? <laughs> She's gonna be our battling debut. Time for our first rival battle versus Shauna. Oh, yeah. Of the First Pokemon of many. Why non-healing wedlock? All right. If this is a shiny, I, I I don't even need to talk about it. It's just obviously not. But here's Salon too. So I always try to make a pun for the title with our starter, but I can't think of anything. But I was thinking about this. Is this fight Fennec even possible? Can't think of anything, or Fennec can think oh, of something. God, nah, never mind. <laughs> oh, it was a stretch, but yeah. you know what? I was, got not boxed on that one. I was one. thinking, is this fight even physically possible to lose if you use Ember? Like, uh, if you use Ember or whatever the yeah. um, super effective move is, no, it's not. But if you just spam your status move, then yeah, yeah you're probably gonna lose eventually. That's great. Oh man, I, I definitely don't like the rivals in this game. Like Shauna's all right, and Serena's great, but the other two are. Yeah, so, uh... I don't know. I'm kind of torn on them. I wish that. Trevor would have had a little bit more kind of polish and character development. Like, it's okay. Yeah. But like, I think Tierno's dancing theme, it's kind of silly, but yeah. it's grown out. It's grown on me after a it's few It's kind of comic relief, I suppose. Like, yeah, I'd exactly. like them more if they'd actually battle you. Like, you only battle Trevor and Tierno twice, I think. Mm-hmm. Once on the bridge and then once in their... Oh, you don't even fight Trevor, well, do you? you? Yeah, you fight... You do fight Trevor. In a double battle. And you do fight... No, you fight him on the bridge. But you yeah, only fight him before that. there individually. Yeah, that's what I was You do fight Tierno once more. Yeah. And that can be a scary battle. fight. I'll let you know about that right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Uh, in oh, the yeah. Y wedlock that I did in my personal time, I I did pretty good on the bridge, but I did lose my Tyranitar, but I just had trained oh. the Tyranitar up. But oh. I, I don't even remember its name. That's how oh, little no. it was used. <laughs> That's but, so sad. Yeah. Oh, I told her. That I don't bridge know later on, getting way far in advance. But yeah, that bridge is scary. Oh, That's yeah. where your friends turn against you. I know. It's the slaughter bridge. I love it. They'll vote you off the bridge. <laughs> oh my god, they could. I didn't they even could. think about it could that. Happen. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. It's scary. I would like to finish this playthrough. That was my I only so. reasoning behind not wanting to do a no healing wedlock because I've never done one before. Like I've started a couple. I started one yep. a couple weeks ago in Alpha Sapphire, but I like Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are just so boring. Kind of like oh, Route 1 yeah. here. There's so much easier, too. It's yeah. just kind of a joke. It's just not as but fun. X and Y... So X and Y get a lot of slack for being really easy, and that's something that I think yeah. is really important to mention. Um, although it does get a lot of slack for that, if you are playing with challenges um, such as like a wedlock challenge, but especially with any kind of restrictions, like no healing items in battle, or no like X items or anything of the sort, 
and with level limits and things like that, it's actually a very tough game because yeah. a lot of the random trainers throughout the game will destroy you. Their oh, levels yeah. keep up very well. So often the reason X and Y get a, a rap for being very easy is just because of the experience share. Definitely. And you're not allowing the experience share for the most part. You are allowing it during kind of dedicated training sessions, yeah. right? Like and just one thing to mention, we did talk about this just beforehand, but you know, I kind of came up with the wedlock before Generation 6's experience share was a thing. Yeah. So just to clarify one thing, I'm totally fine if you do deposit pairs yeah, while absolutely. training. That's like, definitely keeping it in the spirit of the wedlock. Yeah, um, like the, the tra experience share, like using it for dedicated training sessions could definitely... Oh, did I spin on it? Yeah, I mean, I always buy <laughs> 10 Pokeballs. But, um, but using the experience share can be kind of broken even if you do training sessions if you do training sessions like before a scary area because right. like i don't know how to explain it like it sets you up better i suppose but i'll only be doing them when i do speeding up training montages like i do and with music and stuff that's the only time i'm allowed to use the experience share so yeah Just not while going the through the whole game because then your levels will definitely keep up yeah. but if you were going to train up to a certain level anyway then you might as well go ahead and use the experience share just because it's just time saved at that point. It isn't yeah, really It doesn't affect you know, the strategy. difficulty or anything. Right. So do you want to take a guess on its nature? I'm going to go all in because with my luck, it's adamant. Uh, no, I think it's going to be like mild or something. I feel like it's going to have plus special attack and like minus defense. All right. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is Soliantu means sacred allegiance to the sun. Which is really fitting for a fire type like this. Oh, yeah. I just want to point that out. So it has a neutral nature. In oh, bashful. wow. So we got a little bashful <laughs> fox here. He's all bashful. He's like, oh. Oh, yeah, it's adorable. Are we going to get him a partner here or in the forest? We're about to find yeah. out. But this well, spot remember, right here. Well, remember, this Pidgey. Yes. There's always a Pidgey right in this here. this middle spot right here. And we're not counting that. Yeah. It's do you, just, do you happen to know count. if it's shiny locked? Uh, I shiny. don't know, to be honest. I guess if it miserable. were shiny, I'd allow it. But yeah, I'd yeah, catch it if it was I'd shiny. Say... Like, I could catch it, I mean, if it was shiny, but I, I don't want it. It's yeah, so that's always a Pidgey. Yeah. And, you know, being a Nuzlocke or a Wedlocke, it's kind of cool to actually get some variety in what you get. Yeah, so. definitely. I wouldn't want to be forced something like... Right. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time is Linoon. And while I really wouldn't want a Zigzagoon, it'd still be interesting. <laughs> now watch oh, yeah, definitely. Serena here get a shiny, because that's my luck. It reminds me of that time um, Worcester got a shiny roll oh. in one of his speed runs. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the odds of that. That's I know. hilarious. It was so cool. That's uh, hilarious. Let's watch her. I normally cut out the um, Pokemon tutorials, but I, I didn't uh, well, know it was necessary. Oh, fine. Yeah, that's it's fine. fine. Let her so, one ball. thing I do like about X and Y is, you know, this Route 2, which is, you know, the first route you can kind of catch Pokemon in the game. There are a lot of Pokemon available to catch in the wild here. Like, there's an excellent selection oh, for yeah. so many of the earlier routes. In fact, actually everywhere. throughout the whole game, yeah. just about everywhere you go, you're getting no less than three different options. Yeah. The only thing I can think where you get, like, a very limited number of options other than, like, the uh, fishing only route is, yeah, the Route 9, the Rocky Route, where yeah. you still get, I think, three or maybe even four. So there's just all sorts of different options. Yeah. Every time you go through X and Y in a Nuzlocke, in a Wedlock, or any other kind of challenge where you're restricted what Pokemon you can get, you're almost certain to get something new. Oh, yeah. Like, speaking of rocks, a couple of the Pokemon that I want to use the most, like, if I can think of anything off the top of my head, if there's two Pokemon I really want to use... It would be a, um, God, what are they called? I, I, I'm blanking. Barbarical first. <laughs> binacle. I would love to get oh, a Binacle yeah. or a Soul Rock. I've always wanted to use a Soul Rock. So let's see if we get a Pokemon. I'm going to try and avoid it. I'd like to get the encounter in the forest for Silly. Yeah, Andrew. that actually makes sense, really. Yeah. Oh, you did it. Oh, Ooh, right. but can't you handle Oh, I didn't Joey. think about that. Is his name Joey? I think, I think he is. He, it's it's here. No, it's Austin. Joey's just up ahead. Uh, Austin. He's got. Oh, Austin was... Joey's the powder. This punk. Oh yeah. With like a scatterbug or spupa. Scatterbug, something. something I wouldn't mind. Oh man, I mean, did I make a mistake? Are we wiping right here? Oh uh, no, you'll be, be fine. Okay. You'll yeah. be fine. You did buy like oh yeah. <laughs> potions. Yeah, that's gonna help. Uh, I, uh, I know. That's I, I, sw I swear I'm gonna accidentally use crit. an item at some. I, I, that's my luck. It is. Yeah, don't do it. Don't. Okay, he's dumb. Yeah, as, you're good. As I like to say, he did stupid things. I haven't actually said <laughs> that for a really long time. Oh, well, the now you have. Yeah. It'll be the recurring thing throughout this, yeah, I bet. Okay, good. Uh, the, the question of this series, my famous saying is dumpstered. So, <laughs> right, uh, that one got dumpstered. Yeah, are we going to be dumpstered in this challenge, or is it going to be 
the, the gym leaders. I hope not, but I would not be surprised if so. I have a feeling yeah. it will it'll really test you. Definitely. I don't want to heal Fennekin with a Pokeball. Let's do it with a potion. Right, right yeah, not really a, a good idea. Okay, so any guesses on what you think we're going to get in the forest? Ooh, I don't know. Um, you know what? I'm going to say Pikachu. I was Female thinking Pikachu. Pikachu. I that think would that would be awesome. really interesting. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. First female Pokemon. So yep. hopefully we get it or right away. We get a bunch of free heals from Shauna, by the way. That can Whoa. definitely help. Oh. <laughs> that would be hey, bad. will it be female? That would be so bad. That would be really bad. It's uh, okay, so okay. it does not count. I mean, I was expecting that. I, I, I would be cool to get a monkey. I'd like to get some luck. I don't want a Caterpie, and now that I say this, oh, we're getting a Caterpie. Oh, it's probably going to be a Caterpie now that you said it. It's... Oh, we can't get that. This would, no, be an interest of, in, this would be an example of one of my rules. If it's yep. female, it's not. Are we going to see a Pan Sage next? <laughs> That'd be great. All three monkeys? Are we going to see, uh, you know, Silent and Chili oh, and Cress? No, in the no Silent. I hate that guy. <laughs> Please do <don't>. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good guy. Uh, Weedle's fine. Oh. I mean, I, I, you know it's going to be female. It probably really? Oh, wow. See, I always feel bad when it takes me a while to find Pokemon. Like, Yeah, it happens. It's yeah, sometimes I do speed it up or cut it out, but there's no reason to at the beginning. Oh, Scatterbug would be great. Now, that would be interesting. I want to scatterbug. I can see that. Give it. Come on, be female. Yes. It, oh, hey, there we go. I don't want to kill it, and I, my luck, I'll crit it. So I'm just throw a Pokemon from your ball at it. Maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> You're really trying. Oh, yeah. Get Jeff. so lucky. Jeff is premiere. One. Does it like fancy two, balls? Three. Find out. It. Yeah. Hey, wow. That All actually right. paid off. That works. So, since he's our guest, like the only guest I've ever really had, aside from my rival Derek that one time, and he <laughs> didn't really ever talk because he's pretty awkward like me, <laughs> we have a Scatterbug here. A scatter Dust Pokemon. Powder that covers its body regulates its temperature so it can live in any region or climate. I wonder what the Ohio one looks like. Is it like. The, is, I there, don't know. is there one for like e each coast or something like yeah i think so i know uh i'm from wisconsin personally and i have a different one than a lot of the u.s but yeah. i don't remember what it is off the top of my head because i always get so many over like wonder trade and stuff so that'd be pretty cool so uh -huh. do you have any idea for a nickname i'm gonna cut and we'll, we'll decide on a nickname and we'll be right back all right so maryland picked out an amazingly fitting name for this that i probably would have never been able to think of here but this is from season I already lost it. What, what season? Season was this? 34. Oh. Or no, season 33. Yeah, 33. Yes, season 33. Millennials versus Gen X. This is the F Fijian word for home or land. And it was one of the um, starting tribes. And it's really fitting, he said, because home or land, and since Vivian's pattern is based on my home or land or something like you know, basic. You guys get it. So we're going to go ahead and name this Scatterbug. Oh, yeah, Vanua, I think. I, yeah. don't, I don't know. I, I don't think know, it's Vanua. I'm pretty certain that. because that was, like, the season before the last one, so it's pretty recent. So we have okay. Vanua, the scatterbug, which is pretty sweet. Now, are we going to get a bundle? Well, any guesses for this one's nature? Why not? <laughs> I feel like a shiny uh, hunter. Yeah, I don't know. I think that one's going to be modest nature. All I right. think it's going to be amazing. I'm going for docile. Let's see if it's modest. It's... Minus attack plus speed. It's timid. Right? Oh, yeah, hey, that's, that's going to be really good for it. Oh, yeah. Is there any other ability besides shield dust? I don't uh, remember. I don't remember. I don't think so. Other that's than hidden good. abilities. Let's see what, what the next Pokemon would be because I waste time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me. why not? Yeah, Pikachu. Uh, no, just Weedle. I was really subconsciously hoping that was going to be shiny. It would have been female, too, which is funny. Let's let's kill it. Why not? Goodbye, Weedle. Yeah, definitely. Burn that thing. Yeah. We'll and training in, in this away. forest. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Training <laughs> in this forest is really good with Shauna's help. So I'll yes. definitely have to train up the three in the next episode. But is there anything yeah. that's, like, in specific that we haven't talked about that you wanted to share about X and Y? Because, you know, we've only got one Pokemon left to catch here. Um, if there's let's anything. see. So, obviously, you know, a lot of the trainers in the game are very tough. If you are using challenges, especially if you can't heal and you're in a wedlock, like, that makes it brutal. Yes. I think, oh, hey, Fletchling. I'm so glad nice. that's a Fletchling. I'm sorry for interrupting you there. Uh, no, good. it's all right. It's all right. This is important. We got to get our new encounter, right? Yeah, I'm not um, knocking it out. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you can do it. You got plenty of Pokeballs, yeah. so that's fine. Uh, there's definitely some tough parts in the game. Storyline of the game, I do think the more I play it, the less I like it. 
but it does have some highlights. Yeah, like the Lysander battles I always thought were really fun. Oh, <laughs> they are so brutal hard. in a challenge like this. Yeah, I brutal. I had a really good, good fight against him in my Y wedlock I did, and it was so close, and I did something so dumb. Because oh, how, no. how I thought Outrage worked with my oh. with my fairy type. But apparently when Outrage hits a Pokemon, it doesn't affect, it snaps out right away, and I had no yep. clue. And I lost my Golduck, but no. sad times. But the floor just made it to the end of the game, which was great. So Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. So we have a Fletchling here, Tiny Robin. Despite the beauty of its lifting voice, it's merciless to intruders to enter its territory. So I'm going to have to <laughs> find a nickname for this thing. I'm sure oh, there's yeah. something on here that fits. And, oh, definitely. And we'll be right back. All right. Okay, so we got a nickname from Season 9, the season in Van Vanuatu. I have no clue. I, it's going to be f com comic relief while I try to pronounce these names. But <laughs> this is the Merge Tribe for Season 9, and it's an aboriginal word meaning people of the fire, which is fitting because of what Fletchling evolves into later on. And the name that we're going to give this Fletchling is... Alinta? Alinta? I'm not entirely sure to pronounce it. I saw it. It looked really neat. Yeah. I like the meaning of it. So Yeah, it works definitely I'll leave it, for Fletchling. I'll leave it to you to pronounce it. I'm going to go not with me. Alinta <laughs> for now, unless anybody that watches Survivor or is a Google keyboard warrior wants to help me out and go ahead and tell me the real pronunciation. But I'm going to go with Alinta for now, and I'm going to guess that it's adamant, because why not? Ooh. Any guesses? Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be... Oh, I'm thinking it's going to be mild. Sticking with that mild, and it's yeah sassy. Okay, ooh, I guess it's pretty bad, sassy. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. It's really well. bad, but that's my luck. We had decent natures. I mean, neutral's better than it ever gets for me. And yeah, it, it gets real bad. Like I had a modest pincer in white too. It's a, oh dang, that's yeah. pretty rough. It's pretty. It's bad, but it happens. All right, I'm gonna go back yep. and heal. But I think that about covers it. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think you got a, a bit of a grind up ahead of you. Oh, yeah. There's a Caterpie. I'm so glad I didn't get Caterpie. Like, no offense to all the Butterfree fans out there, but I like Beedrill, like, a hundred times better. Oh, just, I'm offended. Do you like Butterfree? <laughs> Butterfree for the win. Oh, oh yeah, man. Butterfree's great. What about Nutmeg? Oh. Offense oh. to all of the Nutmegs out there. I know. I Nah, I had I really a. Do that much? Gosh. Uh, <laughs> no, she was great. She was great. I but had I... a uh, bee drill named Lettuce. Coconut come on. One time. Oh. oh yeah, lettuce. So I'm gonna be really interested to see what you're gonna do against the first gym. I have a feeling, despite it being, you know, yeah, bug type, Fennekin isn't really necessarily the best choice. Hopefully, so... Viviana be able to fight her Vivian, like Viviana versus Vivian. Yeah, or maybe hopefully. Fletchinder again. It's a little again. scary. Not Fletchinder. I don't know. It'll, it'll all depend on what kind of Pokemon you get coming up. Yeah, but like I if I get stuck with a Burmy. Test. Yep. That would be... Oh, that'd be bad. I, I want Bur Burmy for Mothim, but not for what's coming up. But right, right. Do you think you're going to take a chance and go on to Route 22 beforehand? Because oh, I think I might. There is a tough trainer. They have to fight there. Oh, yeah, I remember. I think Catch it's a side guard, up. but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes the rewards can be worth it. Yeah, definitely. Well, I really appreciate you coming on. And Yeah, sure thing. If any of you guys enjoyed this episode, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon Wedlocks like Pokemon Y, feel free to subscribe, and I'll have our guests sign us out. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Benches. <laughs> Big service.